Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this lecture, we are going to talk about Neisseria gonorrhoeae bacterial characteristics, Neisseria gonorrhoeae microbiology, the bacteria Neisseria gonorrhoeae, what is it and everything in detail. So the first thing that we want to talk about are the gram nature of this bacteria. Neisseria gonorrhoeae is a coccus and it is gram negative in nature. Gram negative coccus quite rare disease that is caused by the Neisseria gonorrhoeae that is gonorrhea that is the disease primarily caused by Neisseria gonorrhoeae what are the classification first of all based on oxygen requirement uh, Neisseria gonorrhoeae is facultative anaerobe that means it can grow with or without oxygen based on nutrition it is fastidious in nature that means it requires complex media for cultivation and growth that's why it's a little difficult to culture in the lab as well. What are the virulence factors that this Neisseria gonorrhoeae bacteria share? It has pili or fimbri as a virulence factor that facilitated the adhesion and attachment of gonorrhea bacteria with the surface of the host cell. The next virulence factor it has is OPA proteins, OPA proteins mediate the attachment of the gon Neisseria gonorrhoeae to the host surface and also invasion to the host tissue. The third important virulence factor is IgA protease, immunoglobulin A protease, a protein degrading enzyme that can cleave immunoglobulin A antibodies aiding in the colonization process of Neisseria gonorrhoeae in the host tissue. Next is incubation period. Neisseria gonorrhoeae incubation period uh, typically takes from uh, 2 days to 10 days in a row. So that is the incubation period for Neisseria gonorrhoeae. Talk about antibiotic susceptibility. What are the antibiotics that can kill Neisseria gonorrhoeae? Increasing antibiotic resistance is visible commonly treated with ceftriaxone or cevixime antibiotics. Now, if you talk about the antibiotic resistance, the resistance is increasing with time, including penicillin and quinolone resistance is visible in Neisseria gonorrhoeae. What are the culture methods about the Neisseria gonorrhoeae? The culture methods grown on specialized culture media. Example, Thayer Martin agar media. Thayer Martin agar media as grayish colonies. You can see the colony of Neisseria gonorrhoeae bacteria in Thayer Martin agar as a gray color colony. That is the indication for the growth of Neisseria gonorrhoeae bacteria. Detection method, if you talk about the detection methods, let's start with the first method of detection. And the very first is the culture method. Obviously, the culture method is generally, we take the isolates of Neisseria gonorrhoeae from the clinical samples. Generally, the, the, the you know, uh, secretions that come out from the uh, sex organs are generally utilized here. The second one here, the second method of detection is nucleic acid amplification tests, NATS, N-A-A-T-S, NAT tests. Specific detection using molecular methods is used in this case of NAT tests. The third important method of detection here is gram staining, but gram staining is not confirmatory, it identifies gram negative intracellular diplococci in clinical specimen which I believe you probably have seen in the background images when I showed my microscopic slides to you this diplococci image with gram negative strain is going to give you a kind of 90% uh, confidence level to say that that bacteria is Neisseria gonorrhoeae. And the fourth and final detection method that we know here is a serological test which is very less commonly used but detects the antibodies against Neisseria gonorrhoeae which is generally not used. We use the gram staining as well as the culture method to detect the presence of Neisseria gonorrhoeae. So that's all about the Neisseria gonorrhoeae bacteria, Neisseria gonorrhoeae microbiology, Neisseria gonorrhoeae characteristics. If you like this video on Neisseria gonorrhoeae then please hit the like button, share this video to your friends, subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.